Okay, it's almost six o'clock. It's time to open up Big Sister and let's see what's happening inside. Hold on. Let's go. Let me raise the lid. Slowly but surely. Oh, it's still over 200 degrees in here. This makes it very hard to handle. All right, there is one gallon jug that is shrunk down. Here's the other one. And it looks like the bad news is that it overflowed the side of the thing. Hold on just a minute. Okay, I'm back. Anyway, like I say, it's still over 200 degrees or right at 200, which makes you not be able to do much with a bare hand. So the one on the left here flowed over the edge of the shelf and it flowed against the edge of the kiln. Luckily, it didn't stick to either. But the one to the right over here did pretty much what I expected. I put this block under there, pointed down so that the nose would be angled down and that's exactly what it did. This is called a witness cone and it's down to about the six o'clock position, uh, which means it got pretty much where it was supposed to be. And uh, hold on just a minute. This one is good and flat on the bottom. The handle's you know, kind of strange, but I meant it to be that way, so that's not bad. And I had cut this one in two places just to kind of let the air escape a little bit better, but still it looks like a crack. I mean, it's not cracked, but it looks like it. So it'd be a good conversation piece. All right, I'm gonna take these two off and remove these top two layers of shelves. Okay, this is the second level. Got a pretty clear bottle. It's got a little hint of green to it. Got a dark green bottle. And this is a half gallon jug that Ed Odom gave me and it looks fine. Anyway, let me kind of get some of this out of the way and we'll talk more about them. Okay, okay, this is the uh, clear bottle. Anyway, it turned out really good, nice and flat. And uh, I use this with the neck only raise mold and I really kind of like those. Here are the two witness cones. These are called uh, cone 015 like where I'm going to 1450 degrees, that's about what these are rated for. So, so far it's doing a great job. Okay, this is the green bottle. Anyway, it flowed over on the side and made a little shelf, but it still can be used for something. So anyway, it's okay. Okay, this is a closer look at the half gallon jug. And this turned out great. I really like the way it did. Nice and flat on the bottom. Anyway, but it'll uh, it'll be something interesting. Thank you. Okay, down to the bottom shelf with bottles six, seven, and eight. The top one is a green bottle that I did a neck only. It looks good right this second. The bottom at the, the clear one at the left is a bottle I really like. It was just oval looking, clear. Paid a dollar for it. Anyway, and then the uh, bottle on the right looks like a pancake. That was a Patron tequila bottle that I stood straight up. Now, let me vacuum out some of this stuff. Okay, this is the green bottle from the bottom shelf. Looks good, nice and flat. Really like that one. Turned out great. This is the clear oval bottle from the bottom shelf. Really looks nice. I can see this one's going to stay in my collection okay this is what the patron bottle looked like before i flattened it out it was about seven inches tall the one that i flattened out i cut the bottom off of it you know just see what it would do and so now it pretty much looks like a pancake got a little bit of the top left but you can see where the bottom you can see where the bottom was but anyway, just another conversation piece. So anyway, so that's all for today. And thank y'all for watching. See you next time.